It would seem that technology of today is reaching a point where the dreams of sci-fi writers from the past are now a reality. We quickly embrace advancements and accept them into our lives. These advances are coming quick and fast and this has a lot to do with the discovery of new materials. These new materials bring a host of amazing properties to the table. Manufacturers are quick to adopt and adapt these materials to create new technological platforms or make existing technology more efficient, cheaper and powerful. Manufacturing is the future. Whereas once we wielded huge slabs of wood, metal and stone, whittling them into a form we required, we can now grow products. Well, maybe grow is going a bit too far but we are certainly building from the small to big. Nanotechnology has been around for decades and is showing promise but real game changer could be the combination of technologies like 3D printing and the cutting edge materials that are being created in the labs of the world. One such material that has hit the headlines is nano silver. This amazing lightweight and incredibly strong material has been compared in structure to bone and wood. The nano material forms an incredibly dense lattice structure which keeps weight to a minimum but allows for strength way above other materials of comparable mass. These structures have a large surface area and are porous. The shapes which can be created are almost limitless from tiny bridges, spirals and electronic connections made to look like accordion bellows or donut shaped pillars. It would seem imagination is the only limit. When using this printing method the structure is created in a 3D printing process which is why it is so exciting for the future. A mist of tiny droplets of silver are sprayed and build a structure nanometer by nanometer. Can you imagine what people could design and build in the comfort of their own homes using what are today becoming common household devices? A home user with a computer and a 3D printer could create a truly world changing product. The potential for advancement in the field of medicine is also intriguing. This material could be used to print anatomical structures, maybe used to fix broken bone or how about upgrading our skeleton, making our bones much stronger. Could we become a clawless wolverine, we too possessing an unbreakable skeleton? The process itself is molded after a natural process which occurs in some African deserts. Sulfur laced fog evaporates and leaves crystalline structures known as desert roses behind. This natural method of building to the macro scale could help us in creating everything from supercapacitors to materials used in medical science and more. The ability to print with such a material may unlock the dream of some or the nightmare for many and enable us to create machinery to augment our own abilities. This material being used in a more advanced setting, say a lab that is able to utilize TPL, two photon lithography a nanoscale 3D printing method which enables doctors to carry out x-ray CT scans to analyze 3D printed implants within the body of a patient. When we are talking of technology of this size of construction, crazy things become possible. We have seen these imaginings in movie and television and even covered some of them on this channel. Cameras embedded in our eyes, both recording and enhancing our vision direct brain to brain communication and possibly an elimination of disease as millions of 3D printed nanobots patrol our body supporting our immune system in destroying infection. 
Moore's law adding to the power of these mini computers. And maybe we can add increased strength to our enhanced skeletal structure we mentioned at the start, using nanofibers woven through our muscle fibers where we can take advantage of the enhanced strain resistance without a significant increase in weight. The idea could see the end of current cutting edge technologies like exoskeletons as we merge that technology directly into our bodies. How about being connected directly to the internet and being able to instantly access the combined knowledge of our species? Of course this is all speculation from a process that is still in its infancy, but we should consider where we are heading. As well as pondering that modern conundrum of at what point do we stop being human and become a machine. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more please hit that subscribe button.